what up M squad and welcome back to my channel today you guys I'm gonna do my first story time and this story time is about my sister that's next to me and my oldest brother who is the oldest of us, of us all it's five of us so before I started don't forget to like comment and subscribe to this channel share this video out with anyone and everyone and let them know what I'm doing over here in this channel. I am revamping a lot of my old videos. Trying to make it look a little a lot better than what it has been. So, let's get this video started. So, I come from a very small town, which is Venezuela, South Carolina. I'm not sure, you know, some of y'all may know this small town. It's, it's about three hours away. Maybe four hours away from Murder Beach, South Carolina. And I'm sitting on my balcony, you guys. I decided to try something different. Um, so, um, where we lived at is a very small, very small, small town. And um, the side of the town that we lived on is more like the countryside. So, we had well waters, okay? We had well water. That was some of the best water that you can have. So all of us that lived in that neighborhood had wells. We didn't have city water. We had well water. So, you know, when the well goes out, you are responsible to get your well fixed. At that time, it cost thousands upon thousands of dollars to get the well fixed. And at that time, my mom was a single mother of five, and she couldn't, you know, afford to get the well fixed by herself so we end up having the water was off um because the well needed to be fixed so we end up staying in a hotel for a couple of days so my mom she actually went somewhere um and we stayed at the hotel i think she went to go get something to eat for us or something like that so we end up staying at the hotel while my mom was gone, my sister next to me, she always being sort of like a little daredevil, she ended up going outside. So we ended up going outside with her, playing around, all uh, that. It was like in the back of the hotel where we stayed at, it was like a very high, you know, wooded area. And it had like a ditch and it had like pine straws and all that, you know. Where we from is like heavily wooded pine straws everywhere. So, at that time, my sister took it upon herself, either got a match or a cigarette lighter, and I don't even, to this day, don't even know where she got that cigarette lighter from or that match from. So, she ended up setting the pine needles on fire. So, next thing you know, I start, we start, me and my brother, we started seeing smoke. This child done jumped in the ditch and the pine straw was in the ditch along with her. So, me panicking, I jumped in the ditch, got my sister out the ditch, and throw some water on the pine straw before it overtook her. Because, you know, pine straw, if you set it on fire, it will, okay... Like, it doesn't take that long for the entire area to be set on fire. Because I did that, and I was like, okay, we're staying at this hotel. This is the only place that we got to go stay for right now because it was late. And, you know, we don't want to burn the hotel down. <laughs> My mama didn't have money to fix the, you know, the the well. And then now we about to burn down the hotel. We ain't got no money to fix no hotel with. So, I end up, you know, putting the fire out. My brother go, my brother was over there. He wasn't doing nothing. He was just screaming and hollering. And I'm like, come and help me. Get your sister up out this ditch. Okay? So, we end up taking care of all that. We didn't even tell my mom. It was a while before we told my mom. Because, number one, we already know what my mom was going to do. She from New York and... We don't want to hear the New York come out of her, okay? She from Queens, so it was a it was some years past before we end up telling our mom what actually happened when she left 
And I was like, OMG, I cannot believe that my sister did that. And I'm at that, like, that later on that night when it was time for us to go to sleep, I could not sleep whatsoever. Because I'm sitting there seeing the smoke that was on my mind. I'm seeing my sister in that ditch. She couldn't even get out because the ditch, well, the ditch was so steep. And then my brother standing there like... <laughs> So, it was just like, I had all that on my mind. I can barely get any sleep. The only time I got some sleep was like the next morning. And I, and when I tell you I slept for hours, I slept for hours. And it was during the summertime, so we didn't have no school, thank God. But it was just the fact that, you know, all this was going on. I'm just glad that my sister, you know, it the whole situation didn't end up turning out worse than what it was. It was just a little bit of pine straw that got set on fire. My sister would say, her life would say, my mama's life would say, because she didn't have to pay for no hotel. Because the whole hotel would have burnt down, including the trees and the grass and all that stuff. So, I'm just glad that all that, you know, was, I'm getting all these notifications. I'm just glad that they ended up turning it out better. I'm just making sure, you know, I ain't got no, you know, the little crusty boogers in my nose. Because that ain't cute to be sitting here doing a video. And then the next thing you know, you look at your nose and it's just like a big crust right there. That is not cute at all, okay? I'm outside, so y'all might hear this um, beeping noise for some kind of car. Because, you know, they might be sleeping. They don't hear that car alarm going off. But anyway, I just wanted to sh share that quick story time with you guys. There's plenty more stories. These are real stories. These are events that really took place, you know, in my family. I have some story times that, you know, things that I've been through, that my family been through. You know, some good ones and some ones that's not so good so if you like this story time give this video a thumbs up like comment share subscribe and if you want me to do more story times make sure you hit a comment down below and also i would like to do my first q a so under this video as well if you would like for me to do a q a just ask me a couple of questions and i will do a video on my first q a as well all right you guys so that will be it for this video 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 story time and that's it i hope y'all having a great monday my monday has been busy um tomorrow me and my fiance we will be going to the bridal boutique and just getting some things together for the wedding that's taking place next year. There will be a video coming of that. I got so many videos coming out, y'all. I'm trying to get my schedule together so I will have time to be able to put things together as far as the wedding, which I'm trying to do separately. All the things that we are trying to do as far as the wedding, um, then, you know, doing my separate videos for that as well. So... You'll be seeing more of me. Um, and some other good news is I start my next set of classes actually tomorrow, October the 1st. Um, I think the f one of my classes is macroeconomics. Listen, I don't know nothing about macro or micro. The only thing I know is about micro is microwave and micro braids. Macro, macro economics. The only thing I know about Mac is macaroni and cheese and somebody trying to Mac and trying to talk to me, okay? When it comes down to all that other stuff, I don't know nothing about macro economics and macro economics. But my teacher sure will get me together, okay? All right, you guys. Toodles. See you on the next video. And don't forget to hit the notification bell button so you can be notified when I upload new content, okay, you guys? next time. See you guys later. Peace. Thought that was going to work. I don't know how they be doing it. Put their hand up there like that. How that thing work? Anyways, I ain't trying to do all that. Bye.